Y'all ready? Let's go, let's go. Hey, my connectors, welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe, join the family. If y'all like good food, it's the place to be. Come and have a little fun with your girl, KC. What's up, my connectors, and welcome back to the channel. So today, we are doing the 24 boiled egg mukbang with B Love Smacklicious Sauce, and I threw some peppers in here as well. So if you are new to the channel, if you could please hit your subscribe button and your notification bell so you'll be notified when a new video is uploaded. Don't forget to share, like, and leave me a comment I truly appreciate it so we're gonna jump right in because it's late and I uh, uploaded a cereal video so if you haven't watched that video that was fun I was full of sugar today mmm mmm I forgot my drink oh it hurt him mmm So I got the sparkling water. Mm, 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 mm. So I hope y'all doing well. Mm. See all that ginger? I am doing well. Oh, and this is sweet. I made it extra sweet. Mm-hmm. Mm This video gonna be a little late. Don't worry about it. Mmm. The eggs and the peppers are good together. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> See if I can get a lot on there. A lot of ginger. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's good. Mm. Here we go. We're just in there again. I know some of y'all stop looking in the mirror. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Hell, they're showing that on Instagram. I put that little clip up. <laughs> when I ate them clams, talking about an upgraded kit, they would not let me be great. Yeah, let's hear about them dead end relationships you was in. If you must know, I'll tell you about one of my dead end relationships. When I look back, when we all look back, we look at relationships we've been in was like, okay, we were stupid. <laughs> I was real stupid. But here's the thing, I know I was stupid when I was in the relationship though. So I don't count. Have you ever gone into a relationship where it's enjoyable and everything like that, but you know you don't have a, a future with this person? Like, 
I know for a fact I would never marry this person. I knew for a fact I would never have kids with this person. You know what I'm saying? So I know y'all were like, why was you with them? Because, you know, you just had them something to do relationships. You know, have you been in them? Don't lie. You ain't, you ain't never been in a something to do relationship. <laughs> we all have. Stop lying. I bet y'all like, no. -uh. But for, I done told this egg all up. So, yo. I was definitely not going to bring a child in the world. But this person. I lost their head, child. It was just something to do. Something to waste time. Because I didn't really have no serious other serious relationships, so. Well, there was a big age difference. <laughs> Made different goals, different values. Mm. Looking back, would I waste my time? Probably not. Mm -mm. I probably wouldn't. Because if the relationship ain't going nowhere, <clears throat> you could be working on your stuff. You ain't got to just be with somebody just to be with somebody. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I've never been a, like a lonely person. You know how some people... Don't know how to be by themselves. I was never one of them people. And then you got some people, when they see other people in relationships, they be like, oh, I'm miserable. Oh, I'm not in a relationship. I was never one of those people. So I don't know why I felt the need. I guess it was kind of fun, though. No, you know, it was fun. Mm -mm. But I was very upfront too. I told a person, like I can never marry. I can never see myself marrying you. But when I met Kit, I knew right away that I would marry him without a shadow of a doubt or anything. And then. A previous relationship before that that's so funny <laughs> now, now he really makes it seem like yeah he saved me he saved me from that but yeah the previous relationship before that that was truly a waste of time that was real stupid and I, I was never the type of person that um Uh, was like fighting people over somebody and all that kind of stuff. No, I was I wasn't like that. These people just didn't have the ambition and the same ambition and goal I had. And you can't carry you can't be carrying people because it's gonna weigh you down. You can work with people. You can I don't know. You just can't be carrying somebody who just don't have the same ambition. You can't be wanting certain goals and they they have no desire. To do anything outside of what they are currently doing. Child, get up out of that. Get up out of that. You're wasting your time and theirs. Mm -mm. They don't want to buy a house. They ain't got no car to drive. And not like... Not judging... Because you don't have a car. 
it's the mere fact you ain't even gonna try to get one, you know? And wasn't no Uber back then, y'all. So you can't be like, well, maybe he don't want to take Uber. Mm mm. There wasn't no Uber, child. We ain't had no Uber. They were comfortable with asking people for rides. Well, one of them, not not both. One of them didn't have a car. No desire to want to purchase a home, even rent a home. Just no no other goals. But when I met Kip, that first night we had the long conversation, like the three hour, four hour conversation, he already knew what he wanted, <clears throat> what dates he wanted to accomplish them by. That was just attractive. So I would always say, you know, if I had to tell my kids something or my daughter, Get you somebody with some drive and some ambition. I don't care. Just have some type of goal in mind. Um, people say, like, no, I'm cool where I'm at. I'm good. I don't want to do nothing now. I don't need no more money. I don't need to pay off no debt. And all that, and people that don't take care of their kids, I don't play that either. If you don't take care of your kids, you can't take care of me. I feel like the child come first. That baby ain't asked to be here. So, I was trying not to eat the yolk out of all these, but it's so good. Well, that's where the cholesterol is, but. It's really good. <laughs> I know what y'all gonna say. That I don't do that. I always break it. But yeah. Mm -mm. So yeah, I was in a little, little dead end, love, you know, situation. Oh, and young ladies, stop making excuses for these men that ain't doing nothing. Now, I'm not beating up on our men because we got some beautiful, intelligent, uh, driven, ambitious men. But you know who I'm talking about. The ones you make up excuses for, the ones you try to hide the fact that they're not doing anything or hide the fact that they're abusive or hide the fact that they roguish, all kind of stuff. Stop doing that. You're going to end up bringing a child into the world with somebody that can't take care of himself, you or the baby. And why? And we know firsthand, because I was in the relationship, but I knew it was raggedy. You know what I'm saying? We, kn I knew firsthand, if I had had a child with him, he could help me take care of the baby. So why was I even indulging, engaging? Stupid. I was stupid. And my grandma said, that's just stupid. <laughs> You trying to make excuses for him? You lying for him? You ain't hurting nobody but you. Mm -mm. Yeah, I was. He ain't lying. He ain't lying. But you know, you live and you learn. And y'all know this is the sparkling water. I be having to show you because this bottle look like a um, 
look like something else. Somebody said one day they thought I had to put something else. I'm like, girl, I'm not gonna put nothing else in these people's bottle. I'll tell you when I got something in the bottle, honey. But yeah. <clears throat> Let it go. I think it's better to be by yourself than be in a relationship that you know ain't going nowhere. Just to have somebody by your side. You know what I mean? That's just my opinion. What y'all think? I think it's just better to be by yourself. But some some women are like, well, at least I have somebody to talk to. At least I have somebody to go to movies with. Well, at least, you know, take me out every now and then. He got potential. Mmm. Mm-mm. Yeah, I was crazy. But at least I didn't have too many relationships like that. I had a good... I'll say two solid, just waste of time. I'll say that. I'm talking about real relationships. I'm not talking about when I was, you know, in high school. Enough. I'm talking about when I was adult. I'm trying to think that both of them have kids. Mm. I can't remember. I knew one day. And then, I'm going to tell you. It was so funny. We used to work together. At the same place, right? Um, we when we switch jobs, I end up making more than the the, the person I was dating. And he, I don't know if y'all ever been with somebody who's jealous of your success, but that's the worst kind of relationship to be in when your mate. Is competing with you and jealous because I made more or had more, but I was so stupid, I was willing to share. But until you start acting crazy, I thought I thought he said I thought I was all let since I had made more. And I was like, nah, bro, that's you. You're your insecurity. Ty, that was something else. <clears throat> yeah, when I be talking to Kiana about stuff like this, she was like, I was just stupid. Why would you do that? I said, Well, I'm telling you, so you don't make the same mistakes. And she was like, well, I was like 20, between 20 and 20, 22, I would say around that age. But you know, when you're 20 and 22, you feel like ain't nobody tell you nothing. Even 20 to 25, you try to tell people, look, you're making a mistake, you're wasting your time, don't be with him, you're going to ruin your life. You can't tell people that around that age nothing. They, I, I feel like they feel like they have to learn for themselves. You know? Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, good. But, yeah. So, we got to about telling me that. I was like, I'm young. I mean, I wasn't out there like wild and like, you know, just living reckless, but I definitely could have had another option. Yeah, they ain't have good credit. And one of them was actually... You know how you look for people to stay with on Craigslist? Well, we didn't have Craigslist back then. It was just in the newspaper. 
He used to go and look for people to live with in the newspaper. <laughs> I bet y'all said, well, God, dog, no, Casey. Yeah. I don't think he could get an apartment or anything in his day. Must be. Because we used to live with people. And that used Yeah, that, that used to, um, he, yeah, by him living with people, she was like, she used to be like, you don't know who those people are he lived with, what they're up to, what they could possibly do to you. Which was true. You know, now that I'm an adult, I would be like, I tell Kiana, she crazy as I don't know what. <laughs> you gonna go over there, he living with a house full of men, and you gonna go over there, cause he rent the room out. What if they decide to do something to him and you? Or what if he's with them and decide to do, you know, you just never know. That, I was just stupid. So yeah, he was right. So yeah, if you are in a dead end relationship and you know it is preventing you from becoming the best you you could be, my advice, just from my experience, I ain't no relationship expert or nothing like that is, you need to move on. Just cut ties. I know it's not easy because I used to say the same thing. I don't really want to hurt him and it ain't real bad. <laughs> it ain't real good either. You know, so... I don't know. I don't really have to. <sighs> I don't know. That look good. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but. Mm -mm. And I know sometimes you think your girlfriend's trying to keep you from living your best life. But you need to listen to some of them if they have your best interests at heart. Mmm. -hmm. That was good. I keep saying don't eat all the yolks, but. Mm. So, yeah, that was just my little tidbit on dead end relationships. And another thing, I'm going to say that. If you were in a relationship and that person left you, as hard as it may be, you're going to have to just cut ties. You have, you know what I mean? I know. Let them go. Whoever they with, stop following their social medias. Because you know people will follow your social media and know that it bothers you. Like... I had a, 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 a friend who literally followed her ex, but it made her miserable. Why are you still looking at the stuff? You're looking at them going on vacation. You're looking at them having a good time. You're looking at them celebrating the holidays. You just like you drinking poison. Stop following them. Then you upset every time they do something. They celebrating this and they going out and they having a new baby. But how do you know if you don't, if you just stop following them, you can get out of that. You're stagnant. You stuck. You stuck drinking poison hoping they die. Hoping they unhappy. But you drinking the poison every day. Every day you tune into it. Anything that makes you miserable and bother you. Don't follow it. Don't look at it. Don't keep uh, uh, updates on what's going on. For what? It's not going to move you forward. I don't follow nothing that does not bring or feed me energy or life. What am I following it for? I don't follow negative stuff because I don't want negativity in me. It, it, it literally clogs your emotions to me because you're caught up and you oh i'm following to see what happened I, I wouldn't watch somebody that i was in love with be happy with in love with somebody else just every day you just watching it like you're drinking poison if she left you if he left you let him go 
stop looking at it. And when the people start calling you and texting you about what the other person is doing, you have to block that. You got to tell them stop sending me. I don't want to know. Tell them you don't want to know. Yeah, girl, I seen him at the mall with such and such and so and so. And the new baby. They look happy, girl. That ain't somebody that wants to see you happy if they bringing you that type of news. I'm sorry, it's not. They look like they real happy. People that do stuff like that, I be like, well, why do you pick up the phone for them kind of people? And then they be perplexed when you okay with the person moving on. I don't see how you still happy. You just see them like, you strong. No, the people probably ain't strong. They just trying to get through it. You ain't helping the situation. Mm -mm. And then you got them people. <laughs> I'm gonna let y'all go. Then you got them people after you've been broke up, your relationship is over. They say stuff like, "Yeah, I ain't like I ain't like you with him, no way." Well, why you ain't say that when we was together? You could have just told me. You could expressed it to me. See, just like my friend Patrice, she ain't even say nothing. She was like, "I just know you can do better, so I'm gonna introduce you to this to Kit." <laughs> I was like, "I got somebody." And she was like, um, no, I want, I want to introduce you to him. So she was like, that ain't even a relationship you're in. I don't know what it's called, but I'm going to introduce you to Kit. <laughs> like, whatever. He's a really nice guy. I was like, Lord, have mercy. <clears throat> Yeah, y'all, so if y'all do the um, boiled eggs or whatever, y'all could just take the yolk out. Even though the yolk is really good to me. I know Shay don't like, Shay, I think Shay the only person I know that don't like the yolk. But that'll decrease the cholesterol. Mm-hmm. And it tastes so good with peppers. I'm trying to get down here to the, to the bottom. I guess y'all said she getting to the bottom today. Mm. I should have put some prawns in here. Oh, you know what? I just might. <coughs> I just might put some prawns in here. Huh? That doggone sauce good. Mm -mm. Alright, so since it's a double upload, and it's going up late, this is so good. I probably can eat a bunch more peppers, but I don't want this video to be long. All my eggs are at the bottom. Alright, so much love, peace, and blessings to each and every one of you. And until the next video, continue making connections with endless possibilities. I love y'all. Bye, y'all.